What is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are at 69 Burgers and Filth in Belfast, Northern Ireland where actually Randy is already taking on the challenge. He is uh, actually behind me, behind all these people in the crowd watching him right now. Oh boy, I'm next and I'm so excited. Anyways, we are both here taking on their massive and brand new Filthy Burger Challenge. I know I'm going to have 69 minutes to finish a whole heck of a lot of very filthy looking food. But anyways, I'm going to try and keep this as PC as possible for the kiddos. I will catch you guys when the massive Filthy Burger Challenge arrives. Oh, you know it's a lot. <laughs> oh, the old two-man carry. Thank you, gents. All right, Kilo Crew, so the massive Filthy Burger Challenge has arrived here in front of me. I am insanely nervous. I just watched Randy take on this thing, but no spoiler alerts allowed today. You guys are just gonna have to check out his video when it posts in like five months after mine. I'm just kidding, it'll be like two months after mine. Anyways, I'm going to have 69 minutes to finish everything that you see here. I have eight beef burger patties in here, all of them weighing in at six ounces. I have a massive chicken breast in here. There is a Tim Hortons donut in here somewhere and then there's a whole bunch of delicious sauce lots of cheese there's a whole bunch of buns in here because you got to have buns if there's a 69 challenge oh I promised myself I wouldn't have jokes there's also going to be six wings six chicken tenders and then I do have two different piles of their loaded fries one of which is covered in mac and cheese which y'all know how I feel about mac and cheese with like bacon there's some crispy onions and then this one over here is like a loaded almost like a chili fry these are called the absolutely banging fries which is one of the very few names I can say on this menu without getting demonetized. There's a bunch of guacamole, sour cream, cheese, and even some uh, nacho chips on here. Again, 69 minutes to finish all of this. If I'm successful, I do get the 69 quid meal for free, a groovy t-shirt, and a spot up on the wall of fame. I am very nervous, but as per usual, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. <laughs> Thanks, King. <laughs> oh boy. Wee, wee buns. We baps, <laughs> which I've heard what you guys, yeah, never mind, never mind. All right, I'm gonna do a really weird strategy today. Uh, I'll obviously go over it in the voiceover, but we're gonna start with some chicken wings and some loaded fries today instead of burgers. But one, two, three, ah, let's get this challenge started. Wing time. Mm. Ooh. What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to one of the most inappropriately named food challenges I've ever done and uh, ironically, as you can see, there were lots of children in attendance. Yummy wing. Yummy indeed. These were extra fried and extra crispy. It was almost like eating a potato chip slash wing. Kind of odd. This burger is so massive, I hope it's actually focusing on my face and not this beautiful burger. No, no. Much like me, after one pint of Guinness, uh, this camera was struggling to focus on any one thing, but that's all right. This burger was gorgeous. That was absolutely delicious. Now onto these huge tenders, or chicken goujons, as they say here. Let's try some of this chicken gravy. I have no idea what goujon means. My only guess is it means an extra, 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 extra crispy chicken tender because these were crunchy, and I mean it. These are good banging fries. Absolutely. Ooh, look at me doing a little flavor mixing instead of doing one item at a time. That's a that's a new one. All right, final scrapey bits of the absolutely banging fries. Those were delicious. A little bit of chicken left, and then I'm going to deconstruct this burger tower so you can actually see my face, and then tackle those fries. Ah, delicious so far. So you may be wondering why I went with carbs and chicken first before the burger. I had actually just watched Randy do this challenge and uh, I knew from the expression on his face, saving the fries for last was a bad idea. All right, that was freaking delicious. Now time to pull the sword from the stone. You may call me Queen Arthur. They actually hammer this in, which was uh, really interesting to watch, but we're gonna deconstruct this now. Whoo, and it's piping. Piping hot. It's piping hot. All right, deconstructed a little bit. Now it's time to get in on these mac and cheese fries, as we'll call them to be PC for the video. Yeah, I did my best to keep this video appropriate for the wee ones, but yeah, mac and cheese fries is actually a perfect name for these, and they were very, very scrumptious, especially with the bacon bits. All right, final bits of the mac and cheese loaded fries, and now we can finally start this burger. Mmm. Hmm. 
Ironically, this will be my first time trying a Tim Hortons donut. I've never had one before. So let's give it a try, all on its lovely self. This probably wasn't the best way to try my first Tim Hortons, but I'll go with it. I approve. Even well seasoned with burger grease, it was still a tasty treat. That's real nice. Nearly 15 minutes into the challenge and I am finally digging into the burger, but I really needed to use this strategy because there was no way I could get through those fries when they were cold. One of eight beef burger patties down. Huh. Oh boy. Thank you. This is like a reverse burger. This is two uh, patties with a bap in the middle. Ah. Yeah, that small child scream in the background was how I was feeling on the inside. I was pretty scared to face off against that much meat and that many buns this late into a challenge. <clears throat> oh, thank you. I needed that. I'm glad you were all as excited about it as I was. Hey, you all know that burps are my secret weapon. Each one is like an extra two or three bites of food that I can get down, so I was glad they had a good humor about it. All right, three patties down. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Beef. Are you done with the chicken? No, five beef. Give me that mental point. Five oh, beef. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. Five. Yeah. You got this. Slay girl. We bun. We bun. All right, now this one is slathered in blue cheese. I will let you guys take a look at their colorful menu to figure out the name of this burger, but thankfully I like blue cheese now. Here we go. Yes, I have finally started to enjoy blue cheese again after a very unfortunate food poisoning incident a couple of years ago. I'm getting the kind folks a better view. Ugh, yes. Oh, they can hear that one in the nosebleeds. I sincerely apologize to those who may be wearing some noise-canceling fancy headphones. That one uh, probably made you jump a little bit, but I needed it. Final bite of blue cheeseburger. I may be slowly enjoying blue cheese again, but it was a bit difficult on a full tummy. <laughs> All right, now onto this mutant-sized chicken breast patty with the other half of the Tim Horton donut and uh, another half of bap on the bottom. This is gonna be delicious and simultaneously challenging. <sighs> and it was definitely way more on the challenging side. Oh, wow. Is that a maple donut? <laughs> That's really good. The maple donut was a lovely touch and it was their take on chicken and waffles, but this chicken breast was even crispier than the goujons and wings. Oh, thank you. You need more than that? Uh, no, that should be all right. Okay. If I need more than that, I'm in trouble. Uh, she's good on drink trading, yeah. She's got her soda and her water. Thank you very much. She's got about basically a pound left. Huh, God, I wish that was true. I really had my work cut out for me on this one. Not only did I have to hold back on all of the uh, inappropriate jokes, this was the biggest food challenge so far of the entire trip. Thankfully, final bite of the chicken donut layer. Hmm. Oh. Four burgers to go, no big deal. Ugh. Hey, gotta fake it till you make it. But anyways, y'all, that is enough from me. This was the very last video in the entire Ireland series. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you are all looking forward to the Scotland series, which will be the very next video. So I will, of course, catch you guys from Glasgow, Scotland. In my local clubbing move. Do mm. I be able to do like one more fresh Coke Zero? I don't know if there's anyone in there. Oh, thank you. I'm grossing myself out with my murky Coke water over here, which sounds almost as suggestive as this restaurant. Thank you very much. That actually sounds like a heavy metal band, murky Coke water. <laughs> We're trying. That's a lot of burg. I'm gonna do a few standing bites. I'm not necessarily full, actually. Ah, just at my human calorie limit, I think. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna take one more bite of this food challenge kilo crew, and then I'm going to declare food victorious because I'm not entirely confident the next burp will be a burp. So uh, we're gonna call it with three patties and a half of a bun left. I'm gonna call it. Oh. I hate quitting.
like that, but I am uh, way too shy to uh, reverse in front of a lot of people. And I'm sure you don't want to see it either. Let me swallow this bite. A big thank you to the team here at 69 Burgers and Filth, and a big thank you to everyone who was here cheering me on for that very long challenge. Uh, I struggled for over 56 minutes, and I still had 13 minutes on the clock, but I guarantee the next burp wouldn't be a real burp. So, <clears throat> a big thank you to everyone. That was absolutely amazing, and unfortunately, that is my very last challenge here in Northern Ireland before we move on to Scotland, and thankfully, I will have about a week off because my body be feeling it. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys know I love doing this. Uh, I appreciate you guys. If you haven't already, like that button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next video, hopefully with a win in Scotland. Okay, peace out. Bye.